The fate of short-term rentals in the resort city is still up in the air. Last night, Virginia Beach City Council rejected the proposals they had and are starting over. Ten on your side, Maria Elena Belores joins us now with details on what happened last night and how residents are reacting today. Well, Laura, this is an issue that city leaders and residents have debated for years. City Council says in order to do it right, they have to start over. And neighbors we spoke with hope this time it leads to change. This time of year, the coastal community of Sandbridge is overflowing with people. It's that overflow that has residents asking for change. You never know if the house next door is going to be a good group one week or a not so good group. Donna Watson has lived in Sandbridge for 10 years. Three years ago, a few rowdy groups vacationed nearby, and she decided to get involved. Short term rentals um, help fund a lot of our city, and this for us in Sandbridge, it helps pay for our sand, so we are not anti short term rentals. However, if there are some controls that are put into place, I think that will help alleviate some of the issues that um, are going on. Watson is part of Protect Virginia Beach Neighborhoods. It's a group that wants strong regulations on short term rentals, like keeping them to one rental per week instead of two per week. It's disruptive to have a constant flow of strangers coming. She attended last night's Virginia Beach City Council meeting, where council rejected the proposals they had to regulate renters and tourists. All of the ramifications of short term rentals and uh, we are doing it on a weekly basis uh, as time permits. Mayor Lewis Jones says to do it right, council needs to start over. Watson says she wasn't surprised by council's decision and hopes they focus on the needs of residents. We love our tourists. We're happy when they come in. We want them to behave. We want them to have a good time and, you know, and then go home with happy memories. But we don't want our neighborhoods to be adversely affected, impacted by what other people do. The mayor says they hope to have a conclusion or an overall plan sometime late in August. We'll keep you posted. In the newsroom, I'm Marilana Beloris, 10 on your side.